what if when you're working in Vim, and in this case, I'm in command mode at the bottom, what if instead of typing out the command, I could just put in some English? Like maybe I wanna save and quit this file. And so what if I could just hit control B, and that takes the request, if you will, that I typed in, sends it off to basically chat Jippity, OpenAI's API, and then it gets back a response and it sticks it right into the command line, just as if you had typed it yourself. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? So previously I've been using this ask OpenAI helper. I've been using this inside of shells, like fish shell, Z shell, PowerShell, you name it. Now I thought, you know what? Vim has a line editor. Why don't I see if I could plug this in and use it to get help with Vim? And that way I don't have to go out to ChatGPT or open up the desktop app for ChatGPT, ask a question, wait for a response, copy the response, come over and paste it into the command line. Instead, I can do everything right inside of Vim. So let's take this for a little test drive here. So what if I want to enable line numbers? I don't remember how to do that. Control B. All right, we'll run that. Sets so an option for number. There you go, there's line numbers. What if I want to see my options? Control B, set all. All right, there's my options. What if, what if I delete some lines in this file here? And what if I just want to reload the file? Control B, all right, E percent. That's not exactly right. Let's do this reload file and discard changes. Control B, there you go, that works. What if I want some help with normal mode, for example, to copy some lines? So what if I put in normal mode, copy three lines, control B. All right, there's normal mode and three YY. Run that, cool, that's three lines yanked. And then paste, don't remember how to do the clipboard, can't even spell, control B. There you go, paste in the lines. Or what if I wanna do something a bit more complicated, like let's pass the contents of this file to the back command, control B. Hey, that looks good, run that. And now there's the back command. And in this case, it actually changed the lines and brought them back in. So probably not exactly what I wanted. Nonetheless, it still does what I asked. So I'll undo that. And maybe I want a last thing here, which is to quit without saving. There you go. So how is this set up? Well, if I open up that VimRC file again, toward the bottom of this file, I set up a few different functions. The first one is called ask OpenAI. At the bottom here, you can see I'm mapping a key in command mode. That's what CMAP means. I'm setting up control B, so you could change that if you want. And then in this case, I go into evaluation mode, and then I'm able to run the ask OpenAI function. Whatever response comes back is stuck then right inside of the command line. So I believe I could do the same thing here, going to the command line mode, control R equals, this opens up eval mode, and I could do something like four plus four. I get back eight, that's put into the command as if I had typed it. So it's the same idea here, just control B, runs that function, and then pastes the result. And so what does that function do? Well, it grabs the current command line, so whatever is typed. So if I have save and quit, that's what'll be inside of the command line variable. And then I start to build up part of the prompt here that I'm running in Vim command mode. And then over on the right-hand side here, you can see I'm also passing the command line. I then build up a path to the Python script that asks the question to OpenAI and gets a response back, basically performs a completion. So I build up that command, I run it, I get back the result, so the standard out. Take the standard out then and I return that. And so that's the result of the evaluation. And so that's what gets stuck inside the command line, just like as if I had typed it. So you tell me, what do you think of this? Do you think this is something that would be helpful? I have been a pretty big fan of doing this inside of fish shell and Z shell, just because there's oftentimes commands that you don't remember because they're obscure. And instead of going out and searching for them every time you need them, this is a much more efficient way to perform a search. Same thing when it comes to Vim, there's a lot of commands that are obscure. And so wouldn't it be better just to stay in the workflow and have some sort of helper that can answer my question without needing to go out to some website? 